Chris Havisham again, part three of Sheffield General Cemetery. I'm coming through the top gate now, uh, near the Anglican Church. Um, I wanted to come back up here. Uh, I've come up the other side as it's, it's too secluded and overgrown and a steep hill to come really through the graveyard itself. Uh, I wanted to mention this aspect. Uh, so I noticed that this pile of stones here, that is symbolising a Khan or Cairn, which is Druid. And the pile of stones would be piled on top of the deceased corpse and then they would um, light a bonfire and also have a celebration. That's what that symbolises. So, that's the Montgomery Sunder again. We still don't know what these buttresses are for. That would all have been filled with coloured glass, of course, at one time. But notice the king and queen at either side is Norman. Norman, king and queen. And that looks like two queens. So that gives you an idea of how old this is. I don't believe it was built for this cemetery in 1836. All fenced off. Due to being unsafe. I'm not sure when these iron railings were taken off, the ones that are around there. That one is still intact, but when these railings were taken off, uh, I don't believe it was for the war effort. Somebody's just decided basically to take them off. And um, use it for scrap metal, obviously. Someone's painted that in green. It goes really low down. Right, so it goes back down to where I started basically. At the bottom, a spider, a spider there in front of the camera. Again, this would have had iron railings all around, but they've gone. Thomas Sale, Canon of York. Died 1873.
That's got the gargoyles on it and wyverns. Wow. Up there on the corners. These are just being stacked up now, remember, 20 years ago. These were around the corner. It wasn't stacked up like this. This is in memory of a New Zealand lady. She was a nurse called Auntie Roberts. And this is her memorial there. So it says Aunt Roberts and these stones were in the original place 20 years ago, now it's been just stacked up on here. So I think some of these graves have been cleared away. But they've been knocked over, two urns, just knocked over and left like that, and one there. They were all on the top of memorial mem monuments. Uh, but that one, I wondered about that last time I came when I... So, where Aunt Roberts, well, that says Roberts on it. That says Roberts. But she was a nurse. So, during the Great War, she was a nurse during, it said during, you need that, during the Great War. She was a nurse. And she was actually buried here. And these are the kings and queens on either side of the arch windows. You can see them. They're Norman. Who they symbolise? It might be one of them, might be Queen Matilda. She should have become queen, but there was a battle, and uh, Stephen won the battle. She was the, the empress of the Holy Roman Empire, Matilda, and King Stephen won. Well, that means that this building, if it's got these Norman kings and queens on, that means it's Norman. But that goes back to what I said. That the Norman era is not as far back as we are told. This isn't as far back. So thank you for watching. Please join me again for part three. I've been Miss Havisham, Sheffield General Cemetery. Bye.